new build guys. Some of you guys don't know, I'm a big IT person. In fact, I own an IT company here in Vegas. Every four or five years, uh, I like to rebuild my system. One of my old friends wanted to get my old rig that's in there, so I decided it's time to build a brand new system. Since I started getting into video editing and all that stuff, I decided to combine the two. All the video editing that I do for YouTube is on the laptop, and I have my desktop for gaming, so I wanted to combine the two this time, and I wanted to show you guys the build process. So I got my tripod set up right there, got the GoPro, and um, I'm about to build this rig for you guys. I got my uh, Top One Gaming t-shirt. Top One Gaming is actually a, uh, a group, a gaming group that, you know, since I have an IT company, um, Top One Gaming is a branch off of that. So yeah, let's get started. I don't even know where to start. Got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll show you guys the specs in the description and um, we'll talk about the specs later on, but let's start this. Build. Got new monitors too. Hopefully they, they work out. And then I got a 34 inch ultra wide. I'm trying to see if it works, but let's see how it goes. Look how extra this shit is, guys. I got this, I got the i9. It came in like a velvet package, and I didn't even know that it came in this weird hexagonal thing. So the case is prepped, clear of clutter. I gotta figure this thing out later. But we're gonna go work on the motherboard first. Remember guys, safety first. Make sure you ground yourself when you're working on the computer, so. Motherboard is in. Time to go and work with this thing right here. I don't even know how to open this. Processor in. Let me throw these things in. It's going to take me a little bit to assemble this AIO, but we're going to do it. Alright, so a quick tip when you're installing fans and you want to know which way the airflow is going when the fan is on. If you look around the body of the actual fan, sometimes you'll see, it won't focus now, but there, sometimes you'll see a little arrow that shows you which way the blades are spinning and which way the air is going. So I'm gonna set this up as an exhaust. So I'm gonna make sure the arrow points up towards the radiator. Got the radiator processors in the two M.2s. The moment I've been waiting for. This is extra stuff, by the way. I'm returning these. I originally got this, the 9700K, but I decided to go with the i9. Oh, two hard drives. So let's go. The moment we've been waiting for, or well, that I've been waiting for, is GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This card is massive. I'm talking massive. Look at, here's my arm for comparison. I think it's as tall as my arm. All right, so video card in. The only thing we have left, um, I'm gonna do some of the wires and stuff on the outside. And then we're off to the hard drives in the back and just wire management. So I'm probably gonna grab a chair and work a whole bunch on this. I'm back. Had to take a break overnight. I had to sleep. You guys didn't miss much. I was just doing cable management and I got some groceries, some pizza, pizza and stuff. But we're back at it. Cable manager, I just have to throw the power supply in there. All right, so I did have a little bit of a hiccup. That, pow that 750 watt power supply that I got, 
did not have two 8-pin CPU ports, so I had to go down to Best Buy and pick this one up. This one has two 8-pin CPU connectors for my motherboard. That was annoying, but picked it up. We're about to open it, about to throw it in. After hours of cable management, I finally finished. So here it is, let's check it out. We're gonna open that up, there you go. Can't really see because it's dark, but um, I did the best that I could. And the most of the time that I spent here, come around here, most of the time that I spent was actually on the back. And uh, I had to do the cable management back here. And I mean, it's, uh, it's whatever, you know? Uh, Velcro Thai City, uh, it's not my proudest, but uh, this was really restricting when it came to how many wires that I could fit in here. And the three fan wires didn't fit, plus the uh, motherboard cables, but put everything on. Let's go into the office, let's plug this bitch in. And then if it's all official, I'll take all the plastic wrap off and then I'll show you guys a little B-roll of the whole system when it's running when I get my office in. There she goes. Yeah, let me open it up for you guys. Da -da -da. Fucking sick. So all I have left to do is I gotta clean all my, my whole office, get the monitors up, mounted, all that shit. And then we'll throw this on there. Once it's official, I'll take all the plastic off. And uh, yeah, that's it. Edit this video. There you have it you guys. The build is completely finished. The monitors are all set up and I'm finally editing this video for you guys on my brand new PC. I'm listing the specs down below. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on this video. Uh, I did not use the monitors from the beginning of the video because it was too deep. So these are mounted onto the table right now. I'm using just a, you know, the standard IKEA tables and the monitors were just pushed out too far. The ultra-wide monitor got replaced by a 32-inch that's gonna be in uh, portrait mode. The 32-inch um, seemed to be a better size. The 34-inch was just too tall for what I was going for. So, like I said, all the specs are down below. As always, guys, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Um, more poker content coming your way. This is awesome. Like. The chair, I got a new chair, the new keyboard mouse setup. It's all pretty sick. So I'll catch you guys in the next video later. Oh yeah, another thing guys, I do stream on Twitch. Eventually I'll start doing some poker streams uh, for my online poker grinds. But yeah, I'll link my Twitch below. Uh, sometimes if you guys wanna chat with me through there, um, I'll mention this in the next poker vlog as well. But yeah, come hang out with me whenever you see me online, come chat or whatever.